Well, okay, so I just learned a thing while working on this video, which will be my first video made specifically for YouTube. Uh, I learned that while my phone does split screen, I cannot zoom in on the picture I'm using for reference without knocking out my camera. So, <laughs> the minute and a half that I had into this portrait or sketch so far um, recorded is null and void pretty much. So, like I said in the first one, uh, I'm doing 15 minute left-handed drawing challenges. I am a right-handed artist. I've been drawing for Gosh, most of my life, it's something I've always wanted to do. The first, uh, somebody outside is driving a motorcycle, so if you can hear that, that's what that is. I, um, the first piece of artwork that I sold, I, happened when I was five years old. Uh, I would go with my mom to work sometimes. She was, uh, was working as a waitress, and I would sit at the counter at the diner, and one of the chefs paid me for... Whatever I was drawing at the time, I wish I could remember that. Um, but again, I'm right-handed. Right, my right hand is my dominant hand. So I decided that I want to become just as proficient with my left hand. I'm kind of a very what-if person, and sometimes I've had a bit of a small panic. Like, oh my goodness, what if something happens to my right hand and then I can't draw? And that would be horrible for so many reasons. So, I might as well learn how to do it, and God willing, nothing would happen to my right hand, and I just have a really cool skill and something to humbly brag about. I can draw with both hands, ha ha! Um, so the point of my draw my YouTube page, so, uh, tongue-tied, I'm sorry, I'm still also learning how to talk and draw at the same time. I can chew gum and walk at the same time, so I know I'm capable of doing two tricky things at once, so bear with me. Um, I am going to be posting 15-minute drawing practices and uh, practicing with my left hand. And the reason I chose 15 minutes is, one, to teach myself, uh, hopefully, speed and accuracy. Uh, and also because at the moment I can't do any of the fancy video editing, so I don't think you guys want to probably sit through 45 minutes of me doing this like I usually practice with my left hand. So, 15 minutes seemed like a decent number. Um, I am using, well, the brush, uh, tip marker that I used for the initial gesture, which was in my first minute and a half of drawing that I got kicked off of before this video. Again, the split screen doesn't let me zoom in on my drawing uh, without kicking me off my camera. Was done in Faber-Castell flesh tone markers, uh, pit pens I think they're called actually, artist pens, and uh, I've used Faber-Castell brands for a long time. They're probably my favorite pens, were my favorite pens to work with. The brush tips still are. Um, the inking pen that I'm using right now is a Molotow black liner. I got it at, got the pack of them at Hobby Lobby a few months ago, and I, they're, they're really good. It was a variety pack. It had different sizes as well as, uh, you know, brush tip and chisel and stuff like that. So they're very handy. Um... I've figure art and comic book art are something that I've always really gravitated towards. I um, need to learn to stop saying um so often. Uh, there I go again. <laughs> that was a decent replacement for um, right? Uh, but I do occasionally do pet portraits. Sorry, my hand is in the screen. I'm getting practice on this, so... Another thing about posting on YouTube, you guys will hopefully get to see me grow as a videographer or whatever you want to call it. 
her hand is cut off and I'm not falling for the trick of zooming into them. I'm using a photo from a uh, yoga Instagram page. I don't know if you can hear those weird noises in the background. My cat is having some conniptions. I think I'm disturbing his 18 hours of sleep. But um, yeah, my I've had done a lot of private commissions for pet portraits. Uh, internationally too, that's pretty cool. Yes, I'm bragging a little bit, but I have a drawing in Norway and that's a pretty big deal for me. Um, I am mostly self-taught. I learned from drawing and uh, photos I liked from magazines and uh, some of my favorite comic book artists. That hand is a mess. And then I did, a few years ago, take a couple of figure drawing classes and figure painting classes. And those helped me a lot. Uh, the different proportions and the different figure types. So, do, yeah. Where's I going to go with that? I think it's important to really learn what you can on your own, but also be willing to accept instruction and critique from others so that you grow. And uh, probably gonna put some clothes on her, but at the moment, bear with me. What else can I say? Um, I still do use some photos for reference. Um, I do miss drawing from life, though. Uh, I work in several different mediums. Inking is all, pen and ink is always my, probably my favorite. With uh, colored pencils and acrylic paints, I, I've even done some sculpture, uh, bronze sculpture in the lost wax method. Anyone that doesn't know what the lost wax method is, you sculpt your piece out of melted wax, uh, wait for it to harden, and um, you dip it in this stuff called slurry. It's like a silica mixture, and you do a few layers of that. Once that's all dry, you get to use a use power tools, grind off the bottom of it and burn it out with a blowtorch and then it has bronze poured into it that's my air conditioner sorry about that roaring noise in the background and uh, once it's cool you sand off all the sharp bits and you have a sculpture so i did a couple figure sculptures as well but the the I'm better at drawing figures, <laughs> but I do miss sculpture quite a bit. So for now, I tell my stories with pencils, and colored pencils, and inking pens, and chalk pastels, markers, just about anything I can get my hands on. Uh, I do like enjoy using watercolor as well, uh, and watercolor and watercolor pencils. And Oh no, lip line. When I started out, like I said, I drew mostly comic books and magazine pictures. I always um, liked comics and pinup art, most of all. And I just like. I like the stories that art can tell. I think you can say so much, to be able to say so much without words is one of the coolest things about art. I mean, just a simple posture can tell an entire story or, you know, and even the lighting on that posture, that pose, you can change an entire, you can draw the same pose with 
five different types of lighting and tell five different stories. It's just the drama of it. And um, yeah, I think Jack Vetriano is probably, he's one of my favorite artists, and he's also such a great example of being able to do that. Just you can feel the weight of the stories and the, the drama just in the lighting that he has in his work alone. So uh, I was told once by Ethan Van Skyver, who's done a lot of work for DC. I think he's done some work for Marvel. Um, that with comic book art, you should be able to tell the whole story without words. You should be able to look at the page and know what's happening without Without any of the words, and I—that's why I try to do with my work. I mean, this—this this is just a study, really. But um, if you were to see some of my comic book pages and paintings, that's it. It's, it's one of the really cool things about being an artist, really. It's just being able to provoke a reaction in someone to move them, just by them looking at your work. Just you know, that's cool. I get told a lot. By people that the drawing I did for them made them cry and that's always I feel like yes I accomplished something <laughs> you know because it, it made them feel and that's that's what art should do any kind of art whether it's visual art or a written word or anything like that uh, sorry I'm picking up another pen This brush tip is actually a Faber-Castell. It's kind of running low. I tend to uh, keep my inking pens until they absolutely cannot get any more ink out of them at all. And just because they're very dull at times, I will still keep them. Uh, no, you're going to work for me. <laughs> um, and I do that because it gives me... Uh, more of an option to work with lighting again like I was saying in different effects with the uh, grayscale and everything uh, that I couldn't necessarily get with gray markers which I did have gray ink markers but I used them all up so I can't make a point of showing you that right now uh, this shading her in real quick I don't know that I'm going to make the mark on getting her hair inked, unless I cheat a little bit. I did say 15 minutes on these. I did about a minute and a half of sketching before my last video got messed up. I might just go with 15 minutes on this one so you guys at least get to see a full 15 minutes of work, which may give me time to ink her hair. So. It's my challenge. I can do what I want. <laughs> um, I don't know if any of you who will, will watch this are artists, hopefully. Uh, and if you are and you've never considered drawing with your non-dominant hand, I would recommend trying it at least a couple times. I, yeah, More than once because the first time you're going to be like, what? Um, but once you start to get the hang of it or feel more comfortable with it, which I'm still in the process of doing, it it's really satisfying to say, hey, I can do this with both hands, you know? And uh, that would be my recommendation. Just try it. Why not? You can show people what you did, or you don't ever have to show people what you did. You make the rules with your art. switched back to Molotow pen because I wanted to get this done a little faster. Ooh, I messed up her leg there too. Look. That's another reason why her hand's funny. I didn't get the leg right. Oh my goodness. I am running out of time if I really stick to this 15 minute challenge and I should hold myself accountable. See how much I can get done. I 
and just like that I've hit 15 minutes so well I did a decent job I think for limiting myself to that so I am going to go ahead and sign my work keep track of this and I know that the more I work on these 15 minute challenges the more I will get done Oh, it's faster. I'll learn to work faster. So it'll be cool to have a record of my progress. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm definitely going to do some more of these. So if you like what you saw, if you have any critiques or questions, do feel free to comment in the comment section below. Where else would you comment, right? I know what I'm saying. Um, and, you know, if you, if you think somebody would find this to be kind of cool then feel free to share the link with them and i hope you're all doing well and take care okay bye